Hi, I'm Jerry, and this is a quickish guide to some of the first aerial combats. The first known example of air-to-air -air combat occurred during the incessant Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920. American mercenaries on opposite sides, Phil Rader for the government forces and Dean Ivan Lam for the revolutionaries, met in the skies over Naco, Sonora, Mexico, on 30th of November 1913. They were arguably friends and certainly acquaintances, so the two fired shots at each other from their revolvers as they manoeuvred, aiming to miss. Both were flying pusher biplanes, Rader a Christofferson and Lam a Curtis B. On the 15th of August 1914, shortly after the start of World War I, Mio Drag Tomich, a Serbian pilot, was performing a reconnaissance over Austro-Hungarian territory flying a Blériot Type 11. In the process he encountered an enemy aircraft, type unknown, coming in the opposite direction presumably for a similar purpose. Initially the two waved at each other, but then the Austro-Hungarian pilot opened fire at Tomich with a pistol, who duly returned fire with his own. This is regarded as the first dogfight of the war. No hits resulted, so far as is known, and the two parted ways. Within weeks, pilots of both sides were equipped with firearms, including machine guns. There is in fact a picture of Miodrag Tomic and his observer Milutin Mihailovic in the first armed Serbian aircraft, a two-seater Blerio Type 11 armed with a Schwarzlosa MGM 07-12 heavy machine gun. On August 25th, Roland Garo and Lieutenant de Berny became the first men to damage an enemy aircraft. Details are sparse, but it appears that Garo was flying a Moraine parasol, while his observer de Berny opened fire on a two-seater German albatross with an unidentified carbine, most likely a bolt action and probably a Berthier. After several shots were fired, the German aircraft escaped by diving away, carrying with it a wounded man. To Lieutenant Herbert Dunsterville Harvey Kelly is credited the first actual destruction of an enemy aircraft. On August 26th, he was flying an unarmed Royal Aircraft Factory BE-2 reconnaissance aircraft when he encountered a two-seater version of the Etrich Tauber. Through aggressive flying, maneuvering as if to hit his opponent, and with shots from his revolver, he forced the German aircraft to land. At this point he landed nearby, and with his observer chased off the Tauber's crew and set fire to it. Which I suppose is one solution to the problem. Up to this point there is no known incidence of one aircraft deliberately destroying another in the air. Russian air pioneer Pyotr Nesterov became the first to achieve this. A daring pilot before the war, he had been the first to loop an aeroplane using a Newport 4 to do this. On September 7, 1914, whilst flying an unarmed Moraine Solnier Type G, he encountered a similarly unarmed Austrian Albatross B-2 piloted by Franz Malina with Baron Friedrich von Rosenthal as an observer. Having attempted to down enemy aircraft previously, on this occasion he successfully rammed his opponent. Most likely he was not on a suicide mission but attempting to hit the albatross with a glancing blow. Unfortunately the damage sustained brought both aircraft crashing to the ground and everybody died. During World War II this was known as Taran and was used by Russian pilots successfully without necessarily causing the loss of the attacker. So far, no one had actually shot down an enemy aircraft. This was to change on October 5, 1914, when a Voisin Biplane 3, equipped with an 8mm Hotchkiss machine gun, successfully engaged and shot down a German Aviatic B-1. The Voisin was piloted by Sergeant Josef Franz with his mechanic Louis Coino as an observer. Curiously, Franz commander had not approved of the fitting of the machine gun, regarding it as a Jules Verne invention. While flying in the region of jean chery en vale they encountered a German aviatic piloted by Sergeant Wilhelm Schlichting with Lieutenant Fritz von Zangen as his observer. Attempting to shoot down the aviatic with the machine gun, Quino ran out of ammunition. 
Becoming aware that von Zangen was shooting back with a rifle, Quaino returned fire with his own, hitting Schlichting. The aviatic went out of control and crashed, killing both occupants. This was the first confirmed air victory. The only source for the following incident is Gunther Pluschow's book, My Escape from Donington Hall. The circumstances are as follows. Then Lieutenant Pluschow was based out of the German base of Tsingtao in China. He had previously attempted to attack Japanese ships from the air in his Rumpler Taube using improvised bombs, but with no observed result. Sometime between September 5th and October 14th, 1914, whilst on reconnaissance, he encountered a Japanese biplane, type unknown, but huge and with a crew of three, and engaged it with his Luger pistol. According to his own account, he fired around 30 shots at the biplane and shot it down. In four short months at the beginning of World War I, there has been a steady escalation in air-to-air -air combat. I covered this final encounter in my video on the Vickers FP-5. It was the first time a specifically designed fighter engaged an enemy. On December 25, 1914, an FB-5 took off from Joyce Green Airfield near London to engage an Etrich Tauber that had been spotted over the coast. With 2nd Lieutenant M. R. Chidson at the controls and a Corporal Martin behind the Lewis gun, they engaged the enemy aircraft. Demonstrating that shooting down an aircraft from another aircraft is actually difficult, it isn't certain that the Tauber was shot down. Certainly it was never confirmed. That concludes my summary of the first air-to-air -air combats. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see or listen to more of the same, please like and subscribe.